Welcome fifth grade social studies scholars to another Passport to Social Studies video. My name is Mr. Giordano and I will be your teacher for today. Today we will continue with our unit two activities and our day 12 lesson. Today's lesson will focus on the middle passage. Our focus question for today is what were the conditions experienced by enslaved Africans during the middle passage? Our learning objective will be to analyze primary source documents to understand how Africans arrived in the Americas and what they experienced during the Middle Passage. Today, you will be learning about the Middle Passage. In our mini lesson, we will be focusing specifically on your introduction, can you do it activity using an interactive Pear Deck slide. Before we begin today's introduction activity, Let's explore the concept of the triangular tree together. As we begin today's lesson, it is important to know that teaching and learning about slavery and the mistreatment of indigenous people and people of African descent following the arrival of Columbus in the Americas is a very difficult topic. It is not a comfortable topic for anyone and an awful reality of the history of our nation and the world. Please know that it is okay to express any discomfort and feelings that may emerge from learning about these topics with your teacher as you continue this lesson in class. Here is a link to our interactive Pear Deck slides for today's mini lesson. When you click this blue hyperlink, it will take you to a student paced version of our Pear Deck slides. Once it loads, you'll be able to click how you're feeling today. It is okay to click that you might not feel be feeling okay today, depending on your mood as we continue through this lesson. As you go through the lesson, you'll see that it mirrors the same slides that, that, that I will have on my video. Once you reach the interactive piece, you'll see that you'll be able to move the icons on that slide. If you click the forward and backwards arrow, it will take you through the slides as well at your own pace. So what is the triangular trade? Well, the triangular, triangular trade is what the trading of goods and enslaved human beings between Europe, Africa, and the Americas during the 1500s to the 1800s is called. It is part of a complex transatlantic, which means across the Atlantic Ocean, trading system. Merchants in Europe shipped manufactured goods, like guns and cloth, from Europe to Africa. They traded the goods for enslaved Africans at huge slave ports on the coast of West Africa, making a large profit. Then they sailed across the Atlantic Ocean to North and South America. Most of the enslaved Africans went to Brazil, in the Caribbean, where they were traded for sugar. In North America, they were traded for tobacco. Those raw goods were shipped back to Europe, where they were sold for a profit. It is important to know that this transatlantic trade network developed and continued for hundreds of years. Today, we're really going to better understand the general movement of goods, including enslaved Africans across the Atlantic Ocean and between Europe, Africa, and the Americas. So let's get started. Our introduction, Can You Do It? activity reads, can you use the draggable icons below to match the correct flag with each continent that is involved in the triangular trade? Make sure you are logged into the interactive Pear Deck slides that I showed you in the beginning of this video. You're going to please place the correct colored flags on the following continents. Please place the yellow flag on Africa, the red flag on South America, the green flag on Europe, and the blue flag on North America. If you're logged into our Pear Deck slides, your slide will look like this. Here, you'll be able to move around the various flags and place them on the continent that you think it matches with. Again, be sure that the color of the flag matches the continent in the description to the right. Okay, everyone, let's take a moment to check our work. As you can see, the flags have been placed on the continents that they correspond with. The yellow flag is been, has been placed on Africa. 
The red flag has been placed on South America. The blue flag has been placed on North America and the green flag has been placed on Europe. Excellent work labeling the continents that were part of the triangular trade. Now we will label the products, items, and goods traded along each leg or section of the triangular trade route. This part of the activity reads, can you use the draggable icons below to match the correct icon with the products or goods that were traded between the continents involved in the triangular trade? Again, make sure you are logged into the interactive pair deck slides. You can see this time the continents have been labeled Europe, Africa, South America, and North America. This time you're looking to put the correct icons in these white boxes where you think the icons or goods were traded on the triangular trade. You're going to be placing the yellow star where you think the raw materials such as tobacco and sugar were exchanged. Next, you're going to place the red star on where you believe guns, textiles, and manufactured goods were exchanged. And then you're going to place the blue star where you believe enslaved people were exchanged. You can pause this video now to take a moment to complete this activity. Again, everyone, your slide will look like this, where you'll be able to move the stars and place them in the correct white box that you think they correspond with. Okay, social studies scholars, let's check our work. As you can see, the yellow star has been placed between North America and Europe, where raw materials were exchanged. As you can see, the red star was placed between Europe and Africa, where guns, textiles, and manufactured goods were exchanged. And finally, you can see that the blue star was placed between Africa and South America and North America, where enslaved people were exchanged. Excellent work completing our introduction, Can You Do It activity. Now, you will continue forward with your independent classwork activity for today. Great work today, social studies scholars. See you next time and happy learning.